Welcome back to the channel. Have you guys been keeping up to date on all the D23 news that just came out? We are super excited. We shared a lot of the news with the kiddos. Guys, Monsters Inc. is going to Disney World. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. A whole Monsters, Monsters Inc. Inc. <laughs> world. Oh, <whole>, yeah. <laughs> Peter has Sully in the car right now. <laughs> the kids are super excited. Uh, once they found out that Monsters Inc. is going to be added <laughs> to Inc. Hollywood world. Studios. Yep, Hollywood Studios. Uh, we ended up I, watching I the movies, and he's been carrying around Sully a, a lot lately. Um, what else is going to be added, guys? Uh, Do you remember what Daddy said? Oh, Encanto. Encanto. They uh, went, they went they went. Well, let's talk about Encanto. It's going to be at uh, Animal Kingdom, and they're going to have a whole Encanto world, which I cannot wait. Mom, I love the colors Mom, of Encanto. Yes. They, they are opening two new cars rides. Yes. Yes. So, but let's let's stick around uh, Animal Kingdom real quick. Another thing they're going to be adding at Animal Kingdom yeah. is um, yeah. Indiana Jones. They're going to be adding another that Indiana is super Jones. Excited. <laughs> yeah. They're adding Indiana Jones what ride. Are you excited? Oh my yeah. god, I'm excited for it all. I love Indiana Jones. I'm just hoping that they don't get rid of the show at uh, Hollywood Studios because that, that show is that, absolutely that, amazing. We have the show. full show on I our on our channel, show. the stunt show. Well, last time we were there, we recorded the whole thing for you guys, so it is on the channel. Okay, now villains. Villains Land is going to be added at Magic Kingdom, and we don't know exactly where it's going to be, but that land is going to be absolutely amazing. I am definitely a villain's all fan. All the villains in the in the all the movies maybe, are going to be there. Maybe all of them. You've got Even Maleficent, Hook. Hook. What's another and one? I'm going to be for Halloween. You are. There's so I'm many villains that Wendy. I hope that they showcase. I'm going to be Wendy. You're it's not Wendy. Winnie. You're going to be Winnie. Winnie. <laughs> is Wendy a villain? Wendy is a villain? Kind of, yeah. She is kind of a villain. So she's going to be in, in it? In the maybe. Maybe especially during the Halloween season they'll showcase her. What are but you going to be for Halloween? I was, but guys, what was I just telling you when we got in the car today? Uh, villains always have a story. They started off as good and they somewhere along the line got bullied or something happened in their life that made them turn evil. Right? Yeah. And what books have mommy been reading to you guys? Villain. The villain stories. Um, I'll post it right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a whole series what? of books and I've been reading it to the kids for years. <laughs> and I don't know if they're really listening. Oh, look at Jane. Jane. Look at Jane. I don't know if they've been Oh, well, don't do that to Jane's beautiful face. Now, when I read these stories, I don't know if the kiddos are really paying full attention. I know that they're grasping a few things here and there, but I myself as an adult really love these stories. So if you're looking for a really good villains storyline, this author is just pushing a, no a new book out every year and I highly recommend it. And uh, from what the kids are collecting now? from the Can stories do they do enjoy. Now? Okay, now there's going to be a new Cars Land. Two now, No, only one. And we don't know exact. Actually, we do know where it's going to be now. Uh, they just announced that they're going to be uh, replacing opening two new Tom rides. Sawyer's Island and they're River of America. They're opening two new rides. Yes. Oh, that's what you're saying. They're going to have two Cars Land rides. I don't know if they're going to call it Cars Land at Magic Kingdom, but that's what they call okay. it at California Adventure. Yes, you can have water, buddy. Um, so that is going to be a lot of fun. It is kind of sad that the river boats are leaving. Um, they're going to be redoing that whole area. Now, I grew up in California going to Disneyland all the time. And that whole island area with the river boat, it was definitely my childhood. So knowing that they're going to be taking that away at Magic Kingdom, I don't know what their plans are at Disneyland just yet. Um, kind of strikes a little chord with me, but... We have to move forward and embrace new things, and I think this is going to be a Mom, really good Sully. addition to the Mom, park. Look at Sully. And sometimes we just got to let go of the old Mom, and Sully. embrace the new. Mom, it's always up here. <laughs> you guys are funny. But there's so many new things that they have announced at D23, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're really excited about it. Over the next five or so years, we're going to see a lot of really exciting things popping up at 
uh, Disney World and Disneyland, and uh, we can't wait to go and check them out. Um, now, Universal has their Epic Universe coming soon, too, and we're all very, very excited about that as well. Uh, Universal Studios, Peter, they have um, a whole How to Train Your Dragon section. <gasps> what? Yeah, they're going to be bringing that along. And then at Orlando, I Universal, I a dragon <laughs> at Universal Studios Orlando, they also have, guys, listen, they have um, a Super Mario or <gasps> Super Nintendo World going Wait, up. They already have. They already have it. No, that was at Hollywood. We did go see that uh, last year, and that was oh, so no, much fun. One ride. I think they only had one ride. Mom, they had Bowser's the Challenge. Bands? Yeah, Mom, they, we'll have to the get the wristbands next time. Do you see the question box? I know, if, you have to punch them, it. You, you, need, you need to use the wristband for, to make it get a coin. That's right. So next time we go, I think we'll probably get the wristbands yes, and you guys can enjoy the games. But we were really on crunch time. We didn't have much time to enjoy that stuff, There's right? There's also a cave that, that, that you have to do, that you can do. A cave? Yeah. A cave. I don't know what you're referring to. Now you have to, to jump in and then get stuff. Oh, okay. But guys, they're putting in a Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Orlando, and we're really excited about that. Our hope in the future, once Adam retires, yeah. we're going to be moving down to the <laughs> Orlando area <laughs> and enjoying all of no, our favorite so things. Me. Disney World, <laughs> um, Universal <laughs> Studios, <laughs> all the theme parks <laughs> out there, all the water parks, <laughs> all the fun <laughs> things that... Orlando has to offer. Mm -hmm. We are lovers of Florida. We definitely want to move back. I myself have lived there twice and I want it to be a third time and I want to stay there. <laughs> I do not want to leave Florida ever again. Um, we, we miss it for sure. But guys, what are we doing right now? We're going to go to Michael's and we're going to see if we can find some fabric. Oh. I don't know if we're going to buy any fabric today, but I do want to shop around because the kids have been using their blankets Hi. for capes. They keep on coming to me with their they blankets, asking me to tie it in the front like normal kids do. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I make you guys some capes? I have a really good sewing machine with all these gadgets on it that Adam got me a few years ago. And, and that sewing machine. Yeah, yeah. So I'll use my sewing machine to make you guys some capes, but I do want to see what kind of material there is here before we get our day going. We have a lot of things that we need to do today, but... I want to give you guys an update on Jane and myself. You know that we have been sick and uh, the kids actually both had the sniffles this week as well. Um, Jane had fifth disease and she had a rash all over her body. That is the last stage of the disease. It's basically a virus. Um, the rash is the virus on its last stage. Oh, he's giving you kisses. <laughs> <laughs> now the rash on Jane lasted about 10 days. She has been doing really, really well. The rash is completely gone. It's been gone for about a week and a half now. So she is perfectly fine and able to carry on her days. I myself am just getting over a flu that really knocked me on my butt. I was sick, really, really sick for about five days. I felt like I couldn't even get up. Mom, look at and, uh I am finally feeling so much better. Um, I'm actually finally feeling better, good enough to do what I normally do every day. Homeschool the kids, take care of um, the things around the house, go grocery shopping, do all the things that I normally do. So, I hate being sick and I'm really happy to be on the up and up. But Peter's doing good, mm -hmm. Adam never even got sick. He was very, very careful. He did My not want silly. both parents to be My sick and not being able to carry on the duties to take Mom, care of the household. Silly. Oh. Ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go into Michael? Yeah. We have a lot Check to do again. today. Okay, one more time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I keep doing that for so we can get more. Boop. Boop, 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 yeah. boop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go inside and see what kind of fabric they have for the kids' cape. a tough time finding fabric in the store. I thought Michael's had fabric. Ooh, soap making? Ooh, oh, this is interesting. I've always wanted to make soap. Mom, look at behind you. Okay, I may have to come back for this section. Whoa. This uh, essential oils and everything really Whoa. fascinates me. What is that? 
Like, Ooh, cool. There's so much stuff in the store. They have all their Halloween stuff out. We're gonna bring Adam back this week and share with you guys all the fun Halloween stuff that they have. I know, you could paint it. I have this. Yes, you do. You do have a different one, but, but, but it's a circuit board. But I don't have this. No, yours is a little different, but it's really cool. We are still not finding fabric here. Did we skip it? Huh. I guess we need to find a Joanne's. I really thought Michael's had some type of fabric. Yeah but <laughs> we're definitely gonna come back. There's so much here that we wanna share with you guys. We couldn't find fabric in there. Uh, I think we're gonna have to find a Joann's or maybe Hobby Lobby. We do have those nearby. Um, I just figured that Michael's would have fabric. I could have sworn I saw fabric in there before, but we did find a lot of good stuff and I wanna take Adam back in there for a lot of the Halloween decor. It, it is and phenomenal in there in fall decor they have a lot of really good stuff and they do have their sales so um i i didn't think it was priced too bad in there and we took advantage of a lot of the sales going on uh we got this ribbon halloween ribbon so what i can do is make either bows for jane and i um or we can just tie it around our hair and i think it'll look really cute i love the colors for sure and she wanted to wear a bow today but i'm like you know what when we go to the park we don't wear bows because it has a lot of metal in it and i don't want her to fall and you know hit her head with the metal in her hair so those are definitely a no-go when it's park day now they have their fourth of july stuff out 70 percent off and they're just really trying to get rid of it and i found this ribbon they have a whole bunch of ribbons in there normally ten dollars i got this for three dollars and um, what I plan on doing with this, and this is something I wanted to do all year and I just didn't do it. Um, I have a bunch of ribbon at home and I have a wreath in the kitchen that I ended up making almost a year ago. And it's white floral. And um, what I wanted to do is put a bow on that wreath where the floral begins. And that bow will uh, signify the holiday that we're currently in. So during the 4th of July, I can use this next year, put a nice little bow in that area. Um, for Christmas, I already have a wreath for that area. Okay, but Easter, I could put a nice Easter bow there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, whatever holidays come okay, up, I can get a bow that, that shows that holiday and then put it on that wreath. So the wreath kind of has uh, multiple purposes. All I need to do is just change the bow. So now I have a 4th of July ribbon that I can make um, a bow out of and uh, put that on the wreath. But guys, we're gonna head on over to Lackland Air Force Base. The kids wanna have a little bit of park time before we head on over a to the commissary. A lot of, well, it is uh, 85, so it's only gonna get hotter here in San Antonio. So we gotta get the move on. Summer. It is summer. We're looking forward to cooler temperatures for sure. Organic means? Organic means it doesn't have all of the pesticides and chemicals on your food. So it means it's as natural as it could possibly be. Like well, that is yucky. You definitely don't want to get an apple like that. But I'm not seeing any organic apples here. Yeah, that one looks really bad too. <gasps> These ones look okay, but I, they're not organic. All right, that's probably why they look really good right now because they're chemically. Right. grown with a lot Correct. of pesticides on them. That's 
probably what all this white stuff is, right? Mm -hmm. So let's keep looking, okay? We are done grocery shopping. We stopped for some Jimmy John's. We are so, so hungry. We don't stop for food very often, but it definitely called for it today. So we're actually gonna sit in the car and eat our food because I am so hungry. I don't feel like I can make it all the way home because I'm actually getting to the point where I'm feeling dizzy. Um, and I did eat breakfast today. It just means my metabolism is really, really speeding up. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then we have one more thing we gotta do before we leave. We just got home, but we're gonna have to run back out again. The kids are filling up the containers after we put, just put all the food away. So here's what happened. We were on base and uh, you need help? Okay, one second guys. Just had to help Peter fill up his monkey cereal in the bin. He didn't want to dump it over the, all over the floor. Um, oh, let's put the cap on right. Oh, hold on, buddy. Watch what you're doing. There you go. No, I'm not hungry. That sandwich really filled me up, but the kids are somehow still hungry, as always. Um, but anyways, we were on base, and we were filling up our five-gallon jugs at the Primo water station. And the darn thing started eating up my money. Dinosaur attack! <laughs> Uh, so now I'm going to deal with that. Next time I go on base, I have to go to the BX and tell them what happened. I took a picture of the machine number and, uh, <laughs> and all of that information so that I can try to get my money back. Um, it's not that much money, but still, it's frustrating. So I only got one water jug filled, and that is definitely not going to last us. One jug fills us up about... Um, a day and a half, sometimes only a day, because we drink so much water here in our home. So um, also, something that is very, very frustrating is I'm not able to find everything at the commissary. Adam and I have been really searching for the healthiest food options, uh, the most organic and more whole foods, because with the 75 challenge that we recently did, we learned a lot and we learned a lot about what we're eating. So shopping has become quite the chore for us, trying to find whole foods, uh, less processed foods, things that don't have a bunch of pesticides all over them and so on. And it's, um, it's very frustrating. Uh, when it comes down to meat, we're, we're in the same boat. We really wanna try to eat as clean as possible. And um, we're really struggling and the commissary, now that I'm actually looking at everything, a lot of their produce comes from Mexico or they're not organic. Their organic section, I kid you not, is probably the size of my little stove area right here. It's so small and every time I go there, the majority of the stuff is, is all gone. There's really not much there. So that leaves us with very little options when it comes to eating as organic as possible. Thank you, Jane. So I have my list here and I'm gonna see how much is left on the list that I need to purchase still. And guys, one of the major reasons that we're really pushing to eat more whole foods and organic is we have seen our health increase so much. Um, I've lost 25 pounds since we started the 75 hard challenge. And all I've done is just change the way I'm eating and I'm still enjoying what I'm eating and I'm hardly ever starving. I'm not starving myself at all. Uh, today, I think is just my metabolism is kicking in so much that I need to eat more. And just the three meals a day is just not enough for me anymore. I used to be a two meal day, two meals a day person. And uh, that was fine. And I was hungry from time to time, but I was actually heavier then. So by eating more often and eating better foods, more whole foods, I've actually lost a ton of weight. Who's a two meal person? Belly. Belly, oh yes. Our dog does eat two meals a day. Another reason why we are pushing so hard to eat whole foods is because of all the cancer scares. We've had so many cancer scares in our family alone and it is scaring us. We are in our 40, well I'll be 40 in a few months, but we are getting up there in age and even our children are susceptible to this disease. So we really want to make sure that we're eating the best foods. We also <laughs> can't stop there. We gotta look at the kind of soaps we're using, the kind of water we're drinking, 
everything and it's exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. But we gotta start somewhere. We're starting with our food and now we're starting to look into the types of soaps that we're using, laundry detergent and so on. Guys, it is amazing once you go down this rabbit hole of trying to live a healthier lifestyle and get rid of all that junk, it's amazing what you find out. And it's, it's definitely a change that we decided um, was for the better. And it's, but it's a chore. It is such a big chore to make sure that we're doing what's best for our family when it comes to our eating, uh, what we put in our body or on our bodies. So what we're gonna be doing now is heading on over to Walmart. Again. <laughs> which I did not plan to do today. It's two o'clock. Adam's gonna be getting off in about an hour, so we gotta hurry up. I wanna be home when he gets home. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, and then I have a chicken dinner to make, which I really don't have the energy to do, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, stop sign. Oh, go, stop, go, stop, go, stop. Go, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but you guys ready? You ready to get out the door? Potty breaks, potty breaks, potty breaks. Jane's over there sneaking some crackers. <laughs> All right, we gotta get going to Walmart. Stop. All right, Walmart's not gonna happen today. We actually drove all the way up the road and my stomach started hurting so badly. I don't know if it's just the type of lunch that we had, which my stomach is really not used to. So we came home and my stomach started feeling a little bit better by the time we got home. And uh, I laid down on the couch and I'm feeling much better now, but I am exhausted. I thought, my body was feeling a little bit better to get out and do more things. I, I think I overdid it today. Um, and it's hot, it's about 93 I believe today. So I gotta take it easy the rest of the day. Um, I do wanna make a good dinner for the family. Um, Adam's been doing his best to take care of everything this whole week and he's been making dinners and he's been doing everything around here so on top of going to school and then he comes home and then he uh, also freelance he, he does some freelance work on the side um, because he is he does have a lot of different skills that he had on the civilian side before he joined the military again so um, he has had people reach out to him to do a lot of freelance work and uh, so he takes them up and does that for them so he works very very hard and I know he doesn't mind but I do. <laughs> I don't want him to have to come home after a very long day at work and do absolutely everything that I wasn't able to get to today. And I uh, have to go back to do a little bit of work before bed. Um, it's not every day that he does that, but it is often. Um, and he's also looking into starting his master's program very soon. So this guy, he's, he's on it. <laughs> and I wanna be there for him. So. Hopefully I feel a little bit better in about an hour. It's 2.35 right now. And um, I think within the next hour, I'm gonna feel much, much better once I lay down for a little bit of time. And my hope is that we can get back to homeschooling tomorrow because the kids have had a few days off since I've been sick. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Um, so guys, stick around. I'll show you guys what we end up having for dinner, whether it be the chicken that I had planned on making tonight. Oh, honey, that goes in your school bin. No, that has to go in your school bin. It doesn't go in the kitchen. All right. Um, yeah, whether it be the chicken that I decided to make or wanted to make tonight or... Can I get out? No. No. Peter was a little bit of a bad boy on the way home. You wanna tell them what happened? No. Yeah, he's sitting on the, well, he should be sitting on the stairs. Peter, go sit on the stairs, buddy. He's serving time out. He uh, slammed the door on Jane because he thought it would be funny. So we had a little discussion about how fingers can get caught in the doors. Not even just fingers, toes, fingers, everything. Or you could even slam it in somebody's face. So it's very important. Bro. Everything. You never slam doors. It's very dangerous and it's very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, guys, I got to get some rest, but stay tuned. We'll see what we end up having for dinner. I lay down for a little bit and I'm feeling so much better. The kiddos are having a popsicle. What kind of popsicles do you guys eat? Let me show them. 
the Super Fruit Organic Freezy Pop. So this is a popsicle that I can get behind. Um, it's also um, it's organic. It's also at Walmart. Yeah, you can get it at Walmart. Is there one? And the regular grocery store. Oh, there's some other ones that are available. And, and there's a purple candy. one. There's a purple one. Oh, yeah. for grape. Yeah, this it's one is uh, strawberry and lemon. So this is the one that Jane's gonna have. Grape. There's grapes in there. Yes. Oh no, the purple one is grape. Oh, see. Oh, green grape, yeah. But they love them. Is at Walmart. Yep. The commissary. Commissary. Yep, they sell it at the commissary Costco. and Costco. Um, so they're gonna have a little bit of a snack. So I'm feeling so much better after I was able to lay down for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a chicken dinner. So we're gonna have a chicken breast, which I'm gonna go ahead and cook on the stove. I typically like it when Adam makes it on the grill but I expect him to be home a little bit later today since he did have something that he had to be at during the lunchtime, which means that he'll work a little bit later to catch up. What's this? Uh, this is what it looks like inside? And, yeah. Oh, she wanted to show you. This is what the inside of the popsicle looks like. It's all real fruit. <laughs> they love it. Um, so I'll make some chicken breast on the stove top. I made a, like a seasoning. I forgot what kind of seasoning it's called, but it's pretty good. It's like a chicken seasoning. I just mixed a whole bunch of things together to make it. And I'm gonna be using that up today. And then uh, I have some zucchini with uh, purple onion for- uh, Mom, watch. What? Don't eat the wrapper. Wrappers mm -hmm. a no no. The fruit is a yes yes. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. ah! We try to have our dinner around uh, four or five. The latest six. Anytime after six is like, okay, it's a very, very late day for us. But um, makes us feel good when we have. The kitchen all done and cleaned up and everybody showered and ready for bed by seven. And then we have other activities that we want to get done before uh, bedtime. So that is our goal every single day. But guys, I needed to show you guys something. Um, when I was sick on Sunday, Adam was running around this house and uh, he was with in the, Jane. with Jane and he was in the office with Jane trying to find something and doing a little bit of cleaning. And he found something that I have been looking for for four years now. Um, we had this up in our house when we lived in Wisconsin and it was right by our front door. And we didn't vlog when we lived in Wisconsin. I really wish we did, but we weren't at that point yet. Um, Jesus it is Jesus on the cross, but we kept it by our front door next to our Packer uh, window chime thing that is still by the front door. And uh, when we moved away from Wisconsin... Mom, you actually want it on your, your wrist? Oh, yeah. He's saying I want it on my wrist because I told him today that I wanted a tattoo of a cross on my wrist eventually. When TMO packed up our house, when we moved from Wisconsin to Florida, uh, I couldn't find this thing. I don't know how it ended up in one of our file bins, and it ended up in a file bin that I never, ever go into. And I thought somebody stole this during one of our moves. I couldn't find it for the life of me and it really broke my heart. Guys, I bought this when I lived in Europe. Um, I wanna say I purchased it in Germany um, or it may have been Austria or I don't know, Holland. I don't re really remember for sure. I, I got it somewhere in Europe and um, it has stayed with me for so, so long. I had it even before I met Adam. And this is the cross that has been traveling with me and it's always been by my front door everywhere I lived. So, you crazy boy, he's got, he's got a huge mess of popsicle. Okay, you gotta clean it up. Um, but now I get to put it by our front door again and it makes me so happy. Adam. When I came down on Sunday, he's like, I have something that is gonna cheer you up so much and I've been looking forward to you to wake up so I can show you what I found. And he handed me uh, this paper. It was wrapped up in this paper. <laughs> and uh, he's like, open it up. And I opened it up and I'm like, oh my gosh. I thought this thing was long gone. I thought it was long gone. Somebody stole it, somebody else liked it. 
and uh, uh, it makes me so happy that we finally got it. It was back. in the office the whole entire time. The in whole the file. time. Yeah, for almost four years, huh? And it was on top of the on the. Um, it was um, on top of the files. No, it was. Uh, yeah. You, that shows you how much I go into that file uh, compartment. So I'm going to clean it up. It does look like uh, Jesus' head is a little bit dirty. So I'm going to polish him up and put him by the front door. So this just, this just made my day on Sunday to finally I found that thing. Well, I'm going to get dinner started. Uh, Peter's got his Legos all over the place. Look at you. I'm putting it together for the vlog. Wow, he wants to show you guys all the colors that he puts together. And then um, he has all of his Legos over here on the couch. And I told him, Daddy should be home soon. And he's gonna step on all your Legos. They're, they're like underneath the couch and all over the carpet. But um, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was using that table. So he has all, it's, also in it's in between the couch cushions. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Buddy, you have some cleaning up to do. I, I love it. And I took all of these out. Oh my goodness. He loves building things, putting things together. So any kind of toy that he receives that allows him to get creative and build something, um, different kind of things with it, he loves. He could sit at that table and just put things together all day long. Jane likes artwork, so she'll sit there and draw and sometimes, but yeah. You like artwork and playing with your baby dolls. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got to clean that up. Mom, you're almost done. Okay. And then you're going to clean up the couch. Okay. All right. I'm going to get dinner started. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we could all get clean, showered and get more relaxation time. So my hope is tomorrow I'm able to get up a little bit earlier, get to Walmart right after they open, fill up, fill up the water jugs, get the rest of the groceries that I wasn't able to get at the commissary. I do need to get um, ingredients for Bella's food because she, uh, she definitely needs a new batch and uh, we make her food here in the home, homemade food. And what we actually started doing is mixing it with kibble. And uh, I don't think she really likes it. She's been so spoiled for so long getting homemade food that... Um, That's Bella now. Is Bella outside? Yeah. Oh, she must have heard her name. Uh, that she does not like kibble. She just wants me to cook her food all the time. Don't you, girl? Yeah. Oh, you have grass all over you. All right, I got to take care of this. Down roll. <laughs> Oh, that's what Peter put together. <laughs> he wanted to show you guys. And he told me to do a drum roll, so that was my best drum roll. Very nice. What are you going to build on top of it? Nothing. How was dinner, Jean? Good. Good? Did you have a fun day? Yeah. What was your favorite part of the day? The park. The park? Yeah, the park was a lot of fun. So we ended up kind of rearranging the kitchen, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, so... <laughs> Mommy got really sick of the microwave over here, so I ended up moving things around, which Adam doesn't always like because he never knows where I put anything, but this one's pretty simple, right? So I put the microwave over here. Yeah, Mo rearranged it a little bit. Hi, Peter. Oh, Peter's in the house. <laughs> okay, so we rearranged Peter, stop. Rearranged Peter, stop. <laughs> rearranged everything. <laughs> we'll see how long it stays that way. <laughs> how was dinner, Peter? Did you like dinner? Dinner yummy? Did you like dinner? Yes? Yes or no? No. <laughs> he didn't like the chicken. But he never likes my chicken. I gotta figure this out, buddy. <laughs> but I do like steak. I know, you do like steak. That's good, because if you didn't like steak, spicy. the steak is spicy? Uh, yeah. Oh. The black one. Oh, the black <laughs> <laughs> You mean the charred part? Yeah. Yeah, that's mommy's favorite, actually. So you that's can give me favorite. the end pieces, and we can give you the middle pieces, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. We usually have steak on Sundays. Ah! 
Mom. All right, you guys ready for bed? Did yeah. you take a shower? No. Okay, you need to take a shower. Jane already showered, and everything's cleaned up. No. The kitchen is all reorganized. Let's start. Kids want to see if I can juggle. You ready? Yeah. Mm hmm. Making sure I'm not under the fan. How about that? Um, that one. That one. That's not. Juggling. That's not juggling? No. What's, ju what's juggling? What's <laughs> juggling? Juggling is right. Okay, give me a third one. Let me see what I can do. I can't get it out. Oh, okay. Ready? You need to do this. Catch it. You need to catch it. <laughs> can you juggle? I could do too. All right, Peter's going to try. Oh. All right, guys. I am feeling so much better, and I am very grateful for that. I think by tomorrow, I will be about 98% done with this uh, this flu and then a hundred percent done by friday <laughs> all right careful are we 100? you guys are fine you guys have so much energy i don't know i wish i could bundle up your energy and use it because i think i would be like sonic a ball of fire is sonic a ball of fire <laughs> no no okay the red one the red one what's his name knuckles yeah. knuckles is that knuckles yeah i don't know daddy would know so we're going to close out the vlog. The kids are going on upstairs to clean up the loft and get ready for bed. We are extremely, extremely tired. Um, I think I am almost 100%. What you doing? <laughs> you gonna, he, oh, he wants to say bye to everybody. Um, but guys, thank you so much for tagging along with us today on a day in the life. I wish I could ball up their energy and use it for sure. Um, but come back and enjoy more days with us. All right, guys. Good night. And thank you so much for spending the day with us. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.